um, gene expression analysis in COVID infections. And so for this project, we wanted to see how certain membrane transporter expressions may be impacted due to the COVID-19 virus. The paper that's displayed on the side provided access to the data set that they used in their analysis. And this data was from patients from UCSF with acute respiratory illness who were tested for the SARS-CoV-2 virus. And the nasal swab specimens used from the COVID test were then used to uh, conduct gene sequencing. So using the data set from the paper, we conducted preliminary gene expression analysis by subsetting the SLC genes that were included. Um, so there were a ton of genes. Um, we went through, we highlighted the genes that um, were related to the SLC families. And so just on that subset of genes, um, we conducted this analysis and we calculated the fold change and the associated p-values through a package in R and produced this graph um, highlighting the genes that were significantly upregulated or downregulated. And for the purpose of our analysis, we want to focus on the genes that were significantly upregulated because we hypothesize that they may be they may appear to be interacting with the COVID virus in terms of its uh, pathogenicity. And so um, our next steps are after replicating this analysis with multiple data sets across a diverse sample set, we want to take the transporters that are significantly upregulated and take a look at their interaction proteins from two databases, uh, BioGrid and StringDB. And so the issues that we're currently running into for this project, um, in order to get the diverse sample size that we want, we need additional data. And we were wondering if anybody here has any familiarity with the GEO database or has any other methods of finding gene expression data for analysis. Um, again, please reach out. We would greatly appreciate any help.